Cherry Creek grad, CU grad, eight years in the NFL. Uh, Ty Sambrello, the, the current left tackle. We're going to be talking to the former and future left tackle of the Denver Broncos. The all-pro. The, the all-pro left tackle. Ryan Clady is here. Yeah. Um, but the guy who's playing the position right now and holding Ryan's place, Ty Sambrello, is injured or at least has a has an, a, a bothersome shoulder, might not be able to go Sunday. So they signed Tyler Columbus. Here's the question. Where are they going to play him? They're going to play him at left tackle. They're going to play him at right tackle. They're going to, you know, you suggested they hire or they sign Columbus. I suggested if they have a problem right now, they move Ryan Harris to left tackle where he's played before. Um, going to be funky to see how they play this yeah, whole thing Tyler, out. Yeah, Tyler's a right tackle. Tyler, Primarily, I, I yeah. think people forgot. Uh, have forgotten that he actually sp spent time with the Broncos kind of on the practice squad. 08 and, and 09. And, Started eight games here. Yeah. And uh, as I mentioned yesterday, and the reason why I wanted him to sign him, he was with Washington for years and years and played in his own blocking offense. Yeah. So at least he's comfortable with the offense that he played under Mike Shanahan there. And I think uh, there were other coaches that are here that may have been with Washington, but Rick Dennison. He played under yeah, Rick Dennison it, here, yeah, and he played Alex under Gibbs. Kyle Shanahan in Atlanta. Yeah, so and they he, do zone blocking. He knows they his, his own, own blocking system, system. Yeah. and so it's not like you're going to bring a guy in that's in a power blocking kind of system. And I think that because this is his last shot at the NFL, I think that he's a guy that you can you can put in there. I know it's difficult. You've talked about how difficult it is to get everybody compatible and that that's why we should give them time. But I think he's a guy that could be real helpful here. Uh, his, his time in Washington basically ended for only one reason. He had he'd gotten a pretty big contract and they didn't want it. The, the last thing that I read and heard was that he didn't want to take a severe cut in salary, and so they let him go. That's what that was about. He, yeah. He's not one of the great tackles. He's not a Ryan Clady, but he's a guy that's, uh, I hate that word, serviceable. He's a guy that Well, he's experienced. I mean, he's got, he's got 57 starts in this league. Yeah, so and, all right, great move. And, John, I'm glad He's in shape. I'm glad. He, yeah, oh, sure. He just got cut by the Falcons. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Altitude John, shape, I'm not so sure about. I'll see John tomorrow shape. night, uh, and I'll say to him, you know, I'm glad you watch the show every day, and you followed our advice. 